receptors are transducers receptors are transducers and what does that mean a transducer means something that converts one form of energy or action to another form of energy or action in case of receptors they are small tiny machines that can convert one form for example let's say touch into another form that is electrical current that goes to my brain and then i know that there is a touch here or temperature or light electromagnetic waves or so on so the first thing to keep in mind receptors are transducers there are so many things that are transducers but for for this context here receptors are what are these things these are transducers now <clears throat> transduction means that you we're going to take one form of energy or action or stimulus and convert it into electrical form so remember this the second thing all receptors output all receptors output is electrical for example in your home you have switches everybody in various homes there are switch are different type but turning them on would always cause the electrical current to flow in the wires it is the same thing a receptor is sort of a switch that you can turn on and off in various ways but whenever it is turned on it always causes the electrical output to to go in a wire so transduction output is always electrical transduction input the stimulus can be touch can be pressure can be vibration can be temperature or light or hearing or other things we'll talk about that so over here first of all sensory receptors and let me take my glove so i'll wear my glove here this allows me to draw on my screen without touching it and this is my drawing pen so i'm just saying that so that you're not wondering that what is happening so look at this the receptors that we have here let me mechano receptors first let me go and create a layer in the introduction so the mechano receptors here these guys are mechanical receptors what does that mean they respond to some sort of mechanical stimulus that mechanical stimulus can be touch which can be very light for example this is very light touch on the on the skin this is light touch or it could be deep touch or this can be called pressure and to a point that this pressure can become painful or crushing so all the way from very light touch to the way to the point where this can be painful that is a mechano receptor that is working there and this is a mechanical stimulus these stimulus or the feelings that we have are called modalities modality simply means type of something any type of something is called a modality just like modals so pain is a modality of sensation touch is another modality of sensation and so on so mechano receptors are res responsible for touch you would say it this way you will say mechano receptors are responsible to transduce the touch related stimuli what will that be that will be light touch light pressure deep pressure pain crushing pain and then vibration vibration is a type of touch and actually hearing is a type of touch as well because what is at the end of the day what is hearing hearing is the sound waves that come and they vibrate our tympanic membrane which is actually a touch by the air so hearing is a specialized form of touch anyways so mechano receptors are these receptors then is are the thermo receptors what are thermo receptors so they respond to temperature they are thermo receptors so this is my depiction of the temperature so these receptors when they are so if this is a receptor when there is heat when there is temperature that is what they respond to the mechano receptor if this was a best mechano receptor is a pacinian corpuscle 
if this was a proscenium corpuscle and there was a mechanical touch on it, that corpuscle would be responding to that. So this is a mechanoreceptor touch. This is a thermoreceptor responding to temperature and responding to both temperature and cold, heat and cold. Interestingly, cold itself actually is not a feeling or a stimulus type. Cold is actually a reduction in the stimulus. Then are chemoreceptors and for example, oxygen level or carbon dioxide level or pH levels and other levels in our body, there are receptors that are going to be um, working with that osmolality receptors in the hypothalamus and the receptors in the kidney. These are all chemical receptors. They respond to chemicals. So if there is some sort of a receptor that is sitting here and there is some chemical, let's say there is sodium or there is hydrogen, these would cause activity and trigger this receptor. So they look at hydrogen and say, oh, I got hydrogen over here and they will become stimulated. At the end of the day, I'm going to repeat this. At the end of the day, all of those receptors, once they become stimulated, once they have transduced a particular stimulus, the output from them is electrical. Output is electrical. So output is electrical. This is the most important thing to take away. So let's say this receptor that is looking at hydrogen, it's a pH receptor, osmolality, not osmolality, it's a acidity receptor. Again, the output from here is going to be once again, electrical. Good so far, then electromagnetic. Electromagnetic is light. So rods and cones that are present in our eyes, these are specialized receptors that respond to electromagnetic waves or stimuli. Again, that is a sort of an energy that would fall on them. They would transduce that energy into electrical impulses, which will go to our brain. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible, share it with your friends as well.